So in this video, we are going to uh, see how to read data in web pages. Working with data. So here, uh, in order to get the input from the user, and when he presses the submit button, what will happen to the information which he has entered in those text box or uh, drop room box, whatever it is. So where those data will go? In PHP, we are going to get the data in a PHP file. There. The user will enter the information in a HTML file, okay, which, which runs in a browser. Then the data which he entered in those controls will be sent to a PHP script. Where PHP script, which is a client server side, from the server side, it will process the uh, information and send back to the user again in a browser. So how it will be done? So what exactly is going on? That's what we are going to see. So in order to get the input from the user and when he presses the submit button, the information can be displayed in another web page. So moving from one web page to another page in PHP, will be able to catch the information what the user has entered in one page and display it in another page. So we are going to see how it will be done. Some of the common controls which you have already studied in HTML, that's what here also we are going to use as uh, this can be defined inside a HTML and the data which is entered in the HTML can be caught from the PHP site. So some of the tools which you are controls which you are going to see in this uh, coming videos are text fields, text area, checkbox, radio buttons, list boxes, password controls, hidden controls, image maps, and file uploads. We'll see one by one. First, we'll see the text field control. But before that, we'll see where these controls can be pasted in the HTML. Is it in the body or is it in the title or it is the headings? No. You have to place the uh, web controls inside the form. So form control, that is exclusive control called form control where you have to open it and close it with the form and close form. The form has arguments, okay. So what are all the arguments? First, you will see only two arguments. Later on, we will see more arguments. So very necessary arguments we will see here. So the name of the argument is method and we allocate the value is get method. Get there are two types of this, get and post. Here we'll see get, and we'll see what is the advantage of using post, what is the disadvantage of using get, both we'll see. First we'll see get method, so method equal to get, and then once the data entered by the user within the tags, where it will go. So for that we have to enter action. So the next argument is action, in that we enter the PHP file. So whatever the user entered through the control, that will be redirected, that will be directed to this file called PHP read. So this is what we are going to define. So now we'll see how to handle text fields. Now we are ready to see the text fields. So uh, we have given the same name, uh, PHP read.html, and then the same name we are giving for the PHP side also, so that uh, we, it is easy that both are related to each other. So for that only we have given the same name. You can give some other name also. It is easy to identify. So PHP read.html, then we have, this is, uh, see the name uh, extension. So this is a HTML file. So entering data into text fields, you know how to define a text in a HTML. So first we, we after this H1, it is within body. Okay, body, then we have given H1. So within body, you define the form method, form. So form and close the form, the method equal to get, action equal to PHP read. So once you have given, whatever is entered in that, that will be sent to this file. There you will catch the data. So here we uh, write a text file, so like this. So text field, and then a button. So text means, uh, so how you will define in a HTML? You will define in a, with the input tag and name equal to u name here this is the variable so what is the variable the whatever value you enter here that will be passed in this variable so you are defining whatever value which your user is typing in the text box that
that will be saved in this name. So name equal to whatever you are get that is called variable name for this respective text box. So type equal to text means immediately a text box will be created. For that we give type equal to text. So next is uh, we are going to create this submit button. So this is a submit but not normal button, submit button. Uh, so here itself type equal to submit you give. So when you press this button, uh, this must be the last button in any web page. Once you press this, the data which you have entered in different controls will be sent to the uh, file which is which you have defined here. So value equal to send. What is this value equal to send? The caption on the particular button. Once you give submit, automatically create a button. And if you don't give this value, this will be empty. We don't know what has to do. So we have written either submit itself you can write or send or OK, whatever it is. But this is a submit button. So you have in order to write something on that button so that the user will be able to follow, you type the This is a caption, nothing but caption. So this submit one. So once it is written, you execute. Uh, once you write this, uh, say here php.html this uh, will appear on your browser then the data is entered and when the user presses the send button that will be redirected according to this action it will be sent to this file now this file catch this how it catch because uh, by using the uh, now all these html tags are that now we will open a php coding by using this tag open uh, anchor bracket question mark php close it then within that you write the PHP coding. Echo dollar underscore get. This is a PHP variable. So when you use the get method, when you use get method, you have to use dollar underscore get. When you use post method, you have to use dollar underscore post. Now you have to get the value which is entered in the text box using the variable name. So already we have defined the variable name here like this. So using that you can uh, Read that value. Now, when you execute this statement, so whatever is true that now this will be the output. Welcome. Welcome is already we have given here in H1. So that will be printed. And then uh, whatever we have entered there, that will be displayed here. 